So I have this app called I Am. I'm pretty sure it's really popular, but I really love it. And if you don't know what it is, like I didn't know, it is an app that you can like select different types of affirmations to get sent to your phone. Like I get them, I have it on my lock screen or not on my lock screen. I don't know what the heck it's called. Like my swipe screen to like the left if you have an iPhone. And then I get notifications sent to me, like push notifications, and I read them there. This one says, I reject all negative feelings about myself and my life, and I consciously accept all that is. Honestly, I needed that. So, and I didn't read that one yet. So that was really awesome that I got to read that with you guys. What is up, guys? Welcome back for another Thursday of Raising Serotonin. Boy, oh boy, has it been a month? I mean, it's literally 15 days into it, but it's been a year. Honestly, 2020 has been... 2020, what? Like, I don't know. I li- literally, I don't know what year it is. 2021, like, since it has started, like, January 1st, I have felt like things have been weird. And I'm not sure if anyone else feels like that, but I don't have a good energy from the world. I'm trying to put as much like good energy into myself. So it's hard to like not want the world to have good energy as well, but I can't like completely focus on that. But yeah, I don't feel like the world has good energy and obviously a lot of heavy, heavy things have happened this year and things are still going on as we speak but I was hoping that the world would like come together more like question mark I guess like I'm not I'm not sure if that makes sense or not if I'm just like checking about my out of my ass right now probably a little bit of both but I feel and I'm like just I'm so so optimistic about this summer but I'm really really excited for it because raise your hand right like really high. Let me see them. Let me hear them. Raise your hand if you thrive in the warm weather and the sun and on the beach. Like, let me, let me see those hands. Like, give it to me. Like, if you like the mountains or the country, that's cool too. Like, I've got no judgment here. But for me, I personally love the beach. And I just truly just want you guys to all love the earth and just get outside and get the sun. Like, please, just like, no matter where you are, I hope that there is a lot of sun where you are because I thrive off the sun and I'm sure a lot of other people do. But cool, now that we got that all that jazz about literally absolutely nothing, like nothing important about today's topic, that's fine. I just needed to talk about the sun because I always talk about the sun. She's cute, isn't she? I love her. Also, wear sunscreen so we don't get skin cancer. But before I actually get into this topic, and I would love to know if anyone has more information about dermatology i guess i have seen and read a bunch of things that sunscreen is basically like not good for us like the sunscreen that the companies and this big pharma like all come together and make like says like they protect us but a lot of it is has ingredients in it that are banned from other countries so not that i know what the ingredients are but I really just that's like kind of like a scary concept I know like everything is like crazy and especially like nowadays it's even more crazy but yeah uh, if you have any information on that I would love to talk to you so yeah let me know about that anyway we are going to talk about being human because this is a conversation we need to have at least I need to have this conversation today because it's been weighing on me a lot and that is why I have this platform to be able to talk about these things with you guys to be able to talk through them when I am recording and I want you guys to know like if I probably feel this way like you might feel this way and someone else also can feel this way so no one is alone here and even if like our opinions or ways that are going on are different it doesn't matter like we're still together we're still a freaking family like just I love you all remember that and we're just going to talk about being being human being human is so hard and i've realized that 
this past year like 2021 like i always have known him being human is hard like yes i thought the world was against me my whole life last episode i talked about my thought patterns that i have going on while i'm in a depressive wave and when we get into depressive waves there is no right like quote unquote right way to better yourself it's always every single time going to be a combination of different healing methods and I believe wholeheartedly that life is truly a combination of trial and error, like growing through what you go through. Like you have to do all of these things to have a beautiful life. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But that's what I really want to talk to you guys about today. Like the concept of being perfect does not exist. And I've had this topic on the podcast before, so it's not new for us. But it's really hard. It's a really, really hard concept, and I still struggle with it. But that's why I'm bringing it back up, because it has to do with a part of the reason why life can be really, really difficult when it doesn't have to be. So before we can do anything else, we have to take that perfectionist in us and throw, like, literally chuck it out the window. Like, goodbye, no. Like, that cannot be in our brains. And I, I know that it's hard. I know. Because there are times that I still have a little bit of perfectionist in me. But we have to. Like, we, that is, like, the worst thing that we could be doing to ourselves. I tried to be a perfectionist with this podcast, with my Instagram page, and I got burnt out. The burnout was so real. And I never believed in that before because I was just like, oh, like, all of I thought was burnout was school. Like, I didn't have, like, I did have jobs, but they were just, like, part-time jobs. So, this burnout felt so different. I felt so just defeated. Now I learned what I have to do to make sure that doesn't happen to me again. And I'm sure I will get overwhelmed or tired at some point, but we don't have to like exhaust ourselves to the point that the things that we enjoy become chores. That's the last thing that we want. And we're, okay, we're always changing and growing and things that we enjoy might not be the same in six months or a year. That's totally fine, but that doesn't make them a chore then. Like you didn't, like you can just go back to always doing that, but unless you actually like get a hatred towards that thing, it is going to become a chore. And that trial and error part that I talked about before, that was a concept that was really, really foreign to me. Like I thought growing up that we had to have life figured out by a certain age. We had to get married. We had to have kids. We had to do this and that and when and if and how. And like that is literally all crap. It's a like a big old no from me. We have 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. Let's just give us 90 years, okay? That's just what we're going for. That's a lot of time. Please think about that. I, like, I don't even know what I'm going to have for dinner right now, like tonight, like after I do this. Like, I couldn't even figure out what I'm going to do in two to three years, two to three months. Like, we have goals and aspirations, 1,000%. I'm not going to ever ignore that. I have them just as much as you do. But being human is hard. And if we put endless amounts of pressure and like harsh things on ourselves, for what? If something happens, good or bad, in any which direction, and you have this like mindset that you were gonna go in a different direction, you like that's internal and you are not gonna be okay for a, a minute. Shit hits the fan or you're just completely thrown off. Like, you know, why are we mad about that? Why are we upset? It's a redirection, and we have to be grateful for those things. They're probably hard. I don't say that this is, like, the best way that everything is going to go in life. Like, I don't want that. Like, I definitely wish that we can all just, like, write our plan and figure it out and know what's going to happen. But that's kind of, like, a beautiful thing about life. And I didn't always have this mindset. I just hit my glasses on my mic if you heard that. Cause they, I'm, like, looking downwards, and they, like, fell. Sorry. We're just putting endless amounts of pressure on ourselves. And I just don't think that we need to do that. Like you're still going to go to bed tonight. You're still going to be able to keep going. You can do anything that you can put your mind to for real. Like I didn't believe that either. Like I thought like you just had to have a desk job and that was it. Like I thought that's what like life was about. Like you just did that. And it's not. And some for some people it is. And that's totally fine. But like just be nice to your mind about it. Like, why can't you take a break? Why can't you go in a different direction? 
why can't you just be grateful for what's in front of you? And it may like, holy crap, like something horrid could happen, but there is going to be a reason for it down the line. And you're going to be like, ah, okay. And like, just the concept of what I'm trying to get at here, what I'm trying to get at here is I don't want the burnout for you guys. I don't want that to happen. And if you, if you live that way by just constantly being so mean to yourself when something doesn't go right, for example, if you are in a high stress job and something goes wrong, like you're going to be so upset, upset, so upset with yourself and you're going to take it out on you. And if you're going 200 miles a minute and like never giving yourself a break, like you're all like, that's like what you're used to. You're going to be hard on you. Okay. We are done living that life. We are going to continue to put this into our brains that we are done living that life. We're not doing this hard life, not knock life. Oh my God. Hard knock life crap anymore. I did that. I did that up until yesterday. Like I get it guys. Like I know that life is crazy right now and emotions are high and things are not normal. I get it. But that's why we have to be kind to ourselves. That's why we have to take it step by step, one day at a time. Just take two freaking seconds before you start ruining yourself mentally. Breathe. Five huge deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. It's going to slow your heart rate down and it's going to make you focus solely on just breathing. Like nothing else can go through your head. Nothing else is going to matter. Like you're breathing, you're human, and we are made to be flawed. The universe wants us to F up sometimes, okay? Not the best thing to hear, I know. But that is how you continue to grow and change. If we didn't grow and change, we'd be freaks. We'd be like sucking our thumbs at the age of 30 or something. Like we have... We all have feelings and emotions at different times in our lives, but that is not going to change. And you have a brain that is beyond amazing and incredible. Our, be- our bodies are so amazing. Like, you are okay. You are going to be okay. Mentally, physically, emotionally. But we have to just be kind to us. Because being human is not, not easy at all in the slightest bit. And if you make a mistake or you do something that you're not supposed to be doing or you eat something that isn't good for you, if it, whatever it is, it's okay. Everything is going to be okay. And I didn't, like I keep saying I didn't believe these things and I didn't. I really didn't. I struggled to live the non-perfectionist life. I still do, like I said. But you are only given what you can handle may feel like you are falling 500 feet to your death i holy crap i feel that sometimes too no light at the end of the tunnel type situation i get it i was there but you are going to get through this one day at a time one thing at a time one foot before the other no running at the pool okay slow your roll we have to be kind to ourselves especially in these times nothing is no one expects anything of you right now no one should expect anything of you ever but especially right now be gentle to yourself if you need to talk to me i'm here i'm always here you are freaking amazing i love you and i will see you guys soon bye